Inside the Plano Center, a crowd gathers waiting patiently for the start of the show. And while they listen to the concert produced by Saigon Entertainment, outside another crowd grows. So these people are here to let the world and everybody, including those audience in there, know that that is not uh, Vietnam government is, is is not what it seems to be. For these protesters, tonight's show, performed by Vietnamese artists, is a propaganda tool orchestrated by the communist government of Vietnam. When these singers come over here to sing, it creates an illusion that Vietnam is a good country. Vietnam now has freedom. Vietnam now respects human rights and religious uh, freedom. Well, in contrary, that is not the case. Andy Nguyen and his family migrated to the United States decades ago after Vietnam became a communist country. My uh, father, who was a president of a bank, a local bank, he was in prison eight years for being the president of a bank. Uh, the Vietnamese communists took away our house. We had to live uh, homeless uh, for a while. A story of hardship and horror shared by many protesters out here tonight. My dad was in the war, prisoner of war for 10 years. They went through a hard time. We were forced to go to the, uh, migrate to the United States for a better life. It's why some say the protest is so important. The goal is to send a message to the Vietnamese government. We know what y'all are trying to do and that's not okay. But the president of Saigon Entertainment says she has no affiliation with the Vietnamese government. The concert is just entertainment. In Vietnam, she says, is not as bad as these protesters claim. Whatever they say, you can, you know, stop them. They have to make up story or they have to say something. So you think they're making up that they had to leave Vietnam because of the communist government? I don't involve with the politics. In the end, the show must go on. But as long as the curtain rises in North Texas, so will emotions.